Welcome. Sorry about that. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Real quick today, I'm going to get out of town. This will be the only show sh- Sunday, and then I won't do a show Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to be out of town. Um, but like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. This is Quick Kids. We come at you typically twice a day, Monday through Saturday, and once a day on Sunday. Um, but this week's going to be a little different. I'm going to be out of town on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, but we keep you up to date with all the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, so that's the kind of content that you're looking for because it's quick hits twice a day to keep you fully updated. Uh, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. Share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. I told y'all yesterday that today's show was going to be on the return of the problem, Adrian <clears throat> Broner. Um, he was a little bit of a problem for uh, Javon Santiago, uh, but not too much. Um People were pretty 50-50 on this. Looks like perhaps more people than not thought Santiago won. Um, We're going to get into that. Uh, Just so you know where we stand, we had a 114-113 for uh, Adrian Broner. Um, We thought there were three swing rounds, 1, 7, and 10. So depending basically on on how you scored those three rounds. um, All right, so it was 4, 4, and 1. Right, one even because you have the nine nine right with the point deduction. Um, was how you scored the fight, right? So if you scored all three of those rounds for Broner, you had you had Broner um up by three. If you scored all three rounds for Santiago, you had Santiago by three, or if you split them, you had it at one point five. Um we gave seven and ten to Broner. I'm sorry, one and seven to Broner. Um, and I want to get into that first round because Comedy Box says that there was no punches landed. And y- you can watch 29 seconds in. That's all I had to take was Broner clearly lands a jab. Okay. So this is what I mean about Comedy Box numbers. You, you can't take them seriously. But 1, 7, 10 were the swing rounds. This was not a great fight. And I, I broke down Santiago on, on a previous video. And he basically was what, it, what he was. He's come forward. He likes to stalk. He throws a left hook. He works the body. It's basically everything I said. Uh, there wasn't a ton of footage on him, but there's not a ton to break down on Santiago. Um, like I said, he's pretty high-level basic. He's big. He's aggressive. He comes forward. Um, and that's basically what he is. Um, Broner, again, gave away early rounds, not letting his hands go, which is just <laughs> – it is what it is with Broner. You know, um, you could argue he won, he lost. It really doesn't matter. Um, we'll, we'll get into the scorecards in just a, a little bit. Uh, but it, it, it's the same problems with the problem that we've always seen. You know, he's afraid to let his hands go. He lets rounds go. Um, nothing happened in the first round. Um, Santiago started to put some rounds on the bank early. Broner rallied late. There was a knockdown, I think. McCanty, who I think is just the worst ref in the world, I think he actually got it right. I don't think Santiago's glove hit the ground. I think that was actually the right call. I think the replays confirmed that. What do you guys think? Leave that below. Um, and then we went to the decisions. And we got 117-110, which is ridiculous. And 116-111, uh, which is also ridiculous. Because you can't have it wider than 115-112. You just can't, right? Because the rounds weren't that hard to score. And the rounds that were even gave all of the rounds that were close. That's one seven and ten to Broner. It's one fifteen, one twelve. That's as wide as you can have it. You can have it no wider. And this is the problem. I don't care that Broner won. I thought Broner won by one point on my card. I don't care that Broner. It's the scorecard. It's what round did you score? One seven. You, you thought Santiago won three rounds in that fight? You understand how ridiculous that is? It's, it's absurd. You know, two. <laughs> Two, three, and four, four. I mean, there's just no way. He won the 12th, right? So, I mean, what round there? Two, three, four, and 12. Did you not give him? It's tough to see scorecards that bad. It's tough to see scorecards that bad. Um, 
And again, I don't not saying burn a loss. I just think the scorecards, there's no way any reasonable person can get those cards when there are only three rounds that we can reasonably disagree on. Um, but there's not much left in Broner. I mean, he still has reflexes. He's still quick. He just doesn't really do much. He doesn't jab enough. He doesn't fire off combinations. Um, he got outlanded drastically, but I, I did feel he landed some clean shots that carried some rounds for him. Um, like I said, the first round, which CompuBox says he lands zero punches, 29 seconds, and he lands a clean jab. I, I don't know what CompuBox looks at, but remember, that's just like scoring. It's objective. Uh, it, it's subjective. It's one person sitting, clicking an, uh, <laughs> a button when he sees a, a shot fired and landed. So uh, there's nothing scientific about that. Um, I, I don't know where Broner goes from here. He says it's going to be 140. He's going to try to get one of those belts. Um, well, all, all those belts are going to be tied up on the other side of the street uh, when Taylor fights Ramirez, the top-ranked ESPN side. So he, I don't know that he's getting one of those right away. He can fight Barrios, um, which I think is an entertaining fight. I think it would be a blessing for Barrios because Barrios would blow this guy away. Uh, Barrios is really good. Um, he could fight Rougarou, who would also blow him out, be an easy fight. <clears throat> I don't really see many other options for him at this point. You know, um, he's a draw, once a star, always a draw. He can make money, which is why I want um, – I'm going to be interested to see what the ratings look like because, you know, Brony can still draw a number. He was up against the um, Valdez fight with um, Burchell. I, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to do. I think it will do just fine uh, because it is Broner and Broner's an attraction. It's a train wreck that he is. Uh, he just is it, not that good anymore. Um, you can see with a middling guy like Santiago, they fought basically an even fight. He is what he is. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I'm thinking he could fight Barrios next at 140. I'm thinking that's a realistic fight that could happen. Um, Omar Figueroa, if Figueroa comes back, that fight was supposed to happen. But I'm thinking it's Barrios. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, it is February 21st, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get Iron Boy into the Hall of Fame, Clip 2021. Um, follow the old form social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.